Okay, the next one. I have two dialogues. Oh, oh I, I think it's already has the answer. Yeah, wait a minute. Okay. Uh, let's try to answer the first dialogue and please uh, think and find the answer whether this dialogue belongs to what fairy tales or what story. All right. Roro juga asked for the second condition, which was to build a thousand temples in one night. Okay, who knows this part belongs to uh, the story? What story that belongs to this dialogue? Okay, let's try and play one more, yeah? Roro juga asked for the second condition, which was to build a thousand temples in one night. Okay, Roro Jumra wants to build a thousand of temples. What story it is? Prominent story. Prominent story. Prominent what? Prominent temple. Prominent temple. Oh. Prominent Prominent temple. temple. Oh. Very good, Al. Okay, the next, oh. we have the last one. Roro <laughs> Jumrang <laughs> yeah. I, I made a mistake because it's already oh, yeah. has the answer Roro Jumrang <laughs> But thanks to L, he has answered very well Okay, the next one What wouldst thou know, my queen? Magic mirror on the wall Who is the fairest? Okay, magic mirror on the wall. Who is the fairies of the world? Okay, let's play one more, yeah? Okay, you can discuss with your friends, maybe. Philippine? <laughs> 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 okay, let's play one more, yeah, guys? already got the answer mirror mirror mm -hmm. on the wall who is the fairies in this world try to answer anybody aladdin aladdin do we have like what like uh, something that we guess or guess it no no, we don't have magic lamp yet, but we have the magic me. Yeah. No. Okay, what is the story that tells about the witch who very very bad person and try to fortunate a queen? Sleeping Beauty, Miss. Sleeping Beauty. Very good. Thank you, Monica. How about the others? Snow White. Miss. Snow White. Okay, let's try to find the answer after this, yeah. Is it whether the Sleeping Beauty or Snow White? Okay. Okay. Uh, next, uh, have you got what kind of genre of the text that we will discuss? In the first, we have Cinderella, Winnie the Pooh, Pinocchio, and then we have uh, Prominent Temple, the story of Prominent Temples. So have you already got what kind of the story, what kind of the text that we will discuss for today's lesson. Lesson, sorry. No. No? Okay. Um, before that, can I ask Al? Where do you come from, Al? Oh, I'm from Georgia. From Georgia? Yes. Okay. Do you know the the story or the legend or the myth, uh, myth or mythos or the traditional story from your Aria?
<laughs> so cute. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my parents told me when I was a child there was a legend that there was a stupid man, a mm -hmm. stupid, like a really stupid, like he wants to build a thousand of temple in one night, like. <laughs> okay. I don't know. Okay. I think this is Roro Jungrang story, or okay. maybe in Pramana Temple. Okay, Pramana Temple. Okay, how about Siam? Where do you come from, Siam? I'm from Borneo, please. Okay, Borneo. Okay. What's the original story from your area? Gunung Lipan. Sorry? Gunung Lipan. Gunung Lipan. Okay. Can you tell your friends a little bit about Gunung Lipan story? Uh, that is when a war and the queen uh, give a lot of Lipan. What is Lipan in English means? Lipan? Oh. Centipede. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what is Lipan in English, but others... But, but you know what Lipan is? Yes. Let me... Lipan is like insect, like yeah, yeah. Insect. crawling, mm -hmm. and thousand feet. She spread a lot of lipan, lipan, and make a mountain oh, made see. by lipan, and then the people there call the mountain by gunung lipan. Okay, so the lipan with their uh, friends made a mountain. Make a mountain. Okay, okay, okay. I have. Um, I still have a promise to you yeah, to find the diction of Lipan in English, yeah? Okay. So, guys, today, we will run, learn about the narrative text. Okay. So, actually, what is the purpose of narrative text? Okay, when I ask you, do you, do you have heard the story of Cinderella? Yes, yes. Okay, do you really like that story? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Have you amused or are you feeling happy after you heard or read that story? Ambiguous, miss. Because why only Cinderella at the size that on the shoes? Okay. There's a lot of people in the kingdom. Okay, basically because Cinderella talks about the true love, yeah. So the best one is always sweet with him, because Cinderella talks about the true story. Okay, when I ask. Mikal Aryo, Aryo, what is your favorite um, story? Any story, Any story. Uh, I would choose maybe... Wow. Um, Snow White, miss? Snow <laughs> okay. Uh, are you feeling happy after heard or read the story of Snow White? Yes, miss. Okay. So guys, basically, the purpose of the narrative text is to entertain the readers. Entertain in Indonesia it means like um, entertain. What's entertain in by Indonesia? Menghibur. Okay, very good. Thank you. You're smart, L. Okay, I I give you an additional point after this, yeah. Yes. Okay. So the purpose of narrative text is absolutely to entertain and to tell a story about something or someone okay and then the generic structure what is the generic structure the first one what we have here orientation, orientation. and then complication. complication and then the last one okay so the main three generic structures of narrative text is orientation complication and resolution but in certain on of in certain or particular story there is also a coda coda here is the moral value of the story okay let's discuss one by one yeah orientation orientation is like the introduce of the story like where and when the story takes place who is engaged in that story and what kind of the story plot that being discussed on that story and we have Complication. Complication is like when the story or when the problem is being raised and then go to the climb. Mix. Climax. Okay. The last one we have resolution. Resolution is like the end of the problem because 
both are many story it can be end either it would be happy or sad ending like okay after this do you find some difficulties about the generic structure or the purpose of narrative text guys not yet miss any question do you have any question so far so good miss. okay everything is good yeah, okay, if you, everything is good please put your thumbs up okay thank you so much okay Okay, let's watch the story of Andy Andy Rumo. Time ago, there were two large kingdoms in the East Java region named the Kingdom of Jengala and the Kingdom of Kediri. The Kingdom of Jengala was led by Raja Jayanagara and the Kingdom of Kediri was led by King Jayangrana. To unite the two countries and avoid war, the two kingdoms established a marriage bond between Panji Asmara Bangun, son of the... Okay, sorry guys for bothering you. Do you need Indonesian subtitle? Or not? Yes, miss. Yes. Okay, let me try, yeah. Wait a minute, yeah. <coughs> King of Jengala and Dewi Sekartaji, the daughter of the king of Kediri. One day, the Jengala kingdom was attacked by an enemy. During the battle, Dewi Sekartaji fled from the palace. She disguised herself as a village girl and lived with a widow with three daughters named Klenting Abang, Klenting Ijo, and Klenting Biru. Dewi Sekartaji was adopted as a child of this family and given the name Klenting Puning. But Klenting Kuning was not treated well. Every day, she was told to do housework, such as washing, cooking, and cleaning the house. Her three stepsisters were very lazy, and they usually just told her to do their chores. Klenting Kuning, wash my clothes. <laughs> wash my scarf too. Okay, sister. <laughs> Eventually, the Jengala kingdom was saved. Panji Asmara Bangun, had succeeded in defeating his enemies who attacked him. But he was sad because Dewi Sekartaji had left the palace. He was determined to look for her. He told guards to find the whereabouts of Dewi Sekartaji. After a while, a bodyguard reported that he had met a girl who looked like Dewi Sekartaji in a village. Panji Asmara Bangun went to the Dapan village this village was located next to the village where Klenting Kuning lived. He lived in Bo Randa's house, became Bo Randa's adopted child, and disguised himself as Ande Ande Lumut, who was looking for a wife. News about Ande Ande Lumut looking for a wife spread around town, and Klenting Abang, Klenting Ijo, and Klenting Biru dressed as beautifully as they could to propose to Ande Ande Lumut. They didn't forget to wear good clothes. Hey Klenting Kuni, you don't have to come with us. Just stay at home. Go to the river and wash all our dirty clothes. Commanded Klenting Biru. They departed and Klenting Kuning went to the river to wash the dirty clothes right away. Suddenly, a crane came and gave her a whip. Go and propose to Ande Ande Lamut, so you can meet Panji Asmara Bangun, and bring this whip. Said the crane. Klenting Kuning then rushed to Dadapan village. Meanwhile, her mother and three adopted sisters arrived at the riverside. They were confused. None of the boats were visible, and there were no bridges. So how could they cross the river? The river was vast, deep, and swift. Suddenly, a giant crab named Yuyu Kang Kang appeared. 
the crab offered to cross the river on the condition they had to kiss the crab. They agreed to that condition. One by one, they climbed onto Yu Yu Kang Kang's back to cross the river. Moments later, Klenting Kuning arrived at the riverside. She also met Yu Yu Kang Kang. Yu Yu Kang Kang offered to help her cross the river with the same condition that she must kiss him. Klenting Kuning rejected the requirement and forced Yu Yu Kang Kang to help her. Without his conditions met, Yu Yu Kang Kang did not want to help Klenting Kuning. Klenting Kuning lost her patience. She pulled out the whip from the crane and struck the river. Immediately, the river water receded. Yu Yu Kang Kang was scared. Finally, he agreed to help Klenting Kuning cross the river. Klenting Kuning immediately went up onto Yu Yu Kang Kang's back and got to the other side of the river. Her mother and three stepsisters arrived first at Mboranda's house. One by one, Klenting Abang, Klenting Ijo, and Klenting Biru showed their beauty to Ande Ande Rumo. However, none of them was chosen because they had kissed Yu Yu Kang Kang. A few moments later, Klenting Kuning arrived at Boranda's house. Ande Ande Lumut chose Klenting Kuning as his wife because he knew that Klenting Kuning was Dewi Sekartaji and she was the only woman who hadn't kissed Yu Yu Kang Kang. Ande Ande Lumut revealed his disguise and he told everyone that he was Panji Asmara Bangun. Finally, Panji Asmara Bangun and Dewi Sekartaji were reunited and they invited Mbo Randa to stay in the palace as a thank you. Okay. Uh -oh. okay, so we have the story of what? What is the title? Andi 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 Andi. Where does it come from? Where does it come from? Where does the story take place? In the beginning? Which part of Java? Kediri. Okay, Kediri. It can be Kediri. That's okay. So the story takes place at Kediri, yeah. Okay. Who are the characters? The main characters? Andi Andi Lumu. Dewi Sekartaji. Dewi Sekartaji. Kunting Ijo. Kunting Kuning. Kunting Ijo. Kunting Biru. Okay. And then. Bukrando. Bukrando. Okay. Is there other characters? Bikiu. Bikiu Kaka. The others? The kings. The king. Okay. Prabhu? Jaya Negara. Prabhu Jaya Negara. Okay. Thank you so much. The last one. What is the story about? Can anybody sum up or tell us the major story plot of Andiani Lumo? No? Are you sleepy, Al? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Al, can you help me? What did you get? After you watch the video, uh, the story was about Yu Yu Kang Kang who wants to be kissed by the woman, the old woman. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Al. <laughs> so, the story of Ande Ande Lumut it starts about the crab. Okay, the crab is actually a, a king, yeah. And then there is a kunting kuning, kunting ijo, and kunting kambang. And then also Devi Sekartaji. So actually the crab or Yu Kang Kang is a king but being um, have the black magic so he become a crab and then one day Yu Kang Kang being kissed by Devi Sekartaji and they uh, and the crab become the real person a man a king and they love each other so I think there is the sum up of the story of Anya Okay, so can we next? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Why? Okay, so here's the language features of narrative text. The first one we have tenses, simple, past tense. Past tense. So in simple past tense, what type of the verb that we, we that we use for what? For two or for three? Two. Which one? Two. Two. Very good. Okay, and we have action verb. But in action verb, we 
use regular or irregular form. For example, if we use simple past tense for regular form, we add ed ya, or d, and then for irregular form, we change the form of the verb ya. For example, like, like run, the verb to become run also, but we use you, but it becomes a. Okay, very good. And then for the verbal process, in the story of narrative text, actually the story also talks about she asks. So we use the verbal processes here. So we have additional information like she asks, <coughs> he said, he told, or something like that. And then the next one we have direct speech and indirect speech. Direct speech, we use dialogue, ya, in dialogue. And then for indirect speech, we have dialogue or not? In not indirect speech. Not dialogue. So, have you got the difference between direct speech and indirect speech? Yes. Okay. For direct speech, we use dialogue. Kita menggunakan tanda petik dua. But in direct speech, no, we don't use dialogue. Okay. okay. Do you want to play game or not? Yes, me. Yes, me. Yes, me. Okay. Let's do a, a competition, ya. Yeah, actually, Mas, can you help me? Bantu saya untuk zoom. Di zoom ini, Mas. Okay, so uh, we have this one, ya. Yeah. Jadi, I will give you a story of Malin Kundang, and here the cut of the paper that. Um, talks about each part of the picture so the thing that you need to do is make sure this pieces of the paragraph suitable for each part in the picture okay okay so I will um, make this as the competition with a minute case Okay, let's do Benny, Aryo, and L. You becoming one group, and then Sion and Monique. You becoming one group, yeah? Okay. Okay. Let's do this. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. You can stand up or you everything that you can do. Okay. Exactly. It's competition, yeah. The first one who already finished. <laughs> that is the winner.
If you have any difficulties, you can chat me after the class, ya. Thank you so much, guys. See you. See you, guys. Berasa gua, Panjir. Berasa gua. Sudah, Mas. Terima kasih.